Bombshell news is coming out of California as we are finding out UC Davis, a public university, has spent $175,000 of public money to censor the internet and their outrageous crimes against peaceful protesters who were doing a sit-in. We're going to get into all the full details of exactly how they did this and also how Hillary Clinton is doing very similar things for the 2016 presidential election. But first off, just to get to the news, public records from the university, which is financed by taxpaying dollars, has come out and has proven how the UC Davis University in January of 2013 signed on with a Maryland company called Nevins and Associates, a corporate whore shill evil corporation they signed up for them for a six-month contract that paid $15,000 a month to create and execute an online branding campaign designed to clean up the negative attention of the University of California Davis and the Chancellor Kathy. Now, most importantly, what happened here was an outright scrubbing of Google, an outright manipulation of the Google algorithm with software that will scrub any allegations or so-called outrageous claims I mean this is this video that came out from the University of Davis is outrageous alone but they have specific software and they manipulate the Google algorithm in a way so when people look up the University of Davis or the person who runs that public university this the truth of what happened to these peaceful students who were sitting in will not see the day of light now this story gets even crazier because number one this is public money this is taxpayers money going to this university and they're spending it buying a corporate whore bastard of a corporation that manipulates Google first off but the situation gets crazier of course this police officer who pepper sprayed all these students who were just sitting down on the ground peacefully he was suspended but it, it, the story gets crazier because he actually won a settlement for $38,000 in court to resolve all claims of psychiatric injury specific or due to continuous trauma from applicants employees at UC Davis this police officer sued and won 30 this guy not the students who got pepper sprayed here this guy won $38,000 wow enough said again what does this story show you well it shows you not only how the Google algorithm could be manipulated could be bought and the truth could be hidden and censored from the people but number two it shows you how people in power are afraid of the truth coming out showing people of exactly what's happening it shows you the establishments weakest link and that is video and that is truth that is people being able to see everything we want to see as it's happening uncensored and unbiasedly and they're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to censor that from you showing you how afraid they are of this now this is happening on other levels as well Fox News even reported how a journalist who was exposing United Nations corruption disappeared from Google this article will be in the description below for you guys to source everything and read it for yourself but Pure outright Google has done this before on behest of other larger corporations and institutions and power brokers including the United Nations censoring news articles that are critical of the United Nations by the by the United Nations call and of course this is no surprise because the government and Google are in lockstep in barrel they are tied in together ever since Barack Obama took office the Wall Street Journal reported how employees of Google have visited the White House for meetings with senior officials about 230 times on an average of roughly once a week. Google's top lobbyists have had more than 60 me meetings at the White House. That's more than most of Obama's cabinet members. Google visits Obama more than his own cabinet members. You could see the play going on behind here and again another article showing how Google censored news articles on behests of people who didn't want the truth about them coming out this is nothing new there was just recently a scientific study done showing how Google could actually rig 
the 2016 elections, m manipulate the search engine findings, manipulate the news algorithm, and push one candidate over and other. This is nothing new and could be very easily done, and they're doing it right now with Hillary Clinton. Julian Assange went on record and exposed how there's a company called Groundwork, which is a stealthy startup funded by Eric Schmidt, the former Google chairman who is now working with the Pentagon, creating secret spy weapons and all this other probably illegal things, who's also a Bilderberg member scumbag. And Eric Schmidt's company, as he was founder, uh, not founder, but the CEO and chairman of Google, Groundwork provides consulting services to former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for her 2016 presidential campaign, creating the groundwork, personalized data-driven electioneering in 2016. Again, doing the same thing that the UC Davis University is doing, manipulating the algorithm in many ways, shapes, or form. Of course, this is nothing new. Twitter has actually censored specific hashtags that were critical of Hillary Clinton many times because, as we know, the executives of Twitter are also in bed with Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton's staff actually tweets at the CEO of Twitter, Jack, and tells him, we need to censor this hashtag openly in the wild. And, and of course, Twitter complies. It's not only Twitter, it's also Facebook who's censoring WikiLeaks posts about Hillary Clinton's email scandals. This is nothing new. An uh, email has come out from Hillary Clinton's disclosure showing how Google censored a YouTube video on behest of Hillary Rodham Clinton. And of course, Google, YouTube, working together with Hillary Rodham Clinton with Twitter, with Facebook, changing the algorithms, manipulating it to put this criminal in power. And of course, we have been affected by this as well. Whenever we do a video about Hillary Clinton, they make sure that this video will be demonetized, which means creating a soft incentive for me not to criticize Hillary Clinton because when I do, my ad revenue from YouTube completely diminishes. Well, screw you, YouTube. Screw you, the University of Davis. Let's show these corrupted individuals. Share this, not only on the tools that are being controlled, but also your own blogs. Share this. Send this off to your friends and family members. Sign up to our email list on wearechange.org. Go on there because that is the only way you could find out the real truth that can't be suppressed, that can't be downthrottled like it is on all these social media platforms. And check out Change Media University, a full online college university course that will teach you exactly how to be a real journalist in today's day and age. High school students get it for free. Check it out. The link will be in the description below. And yet again, let's show Hillary. Let's show the University of David. Let's get this trending. Let's, let's all, let's put this on your blogs. Let's get this out there to everyone and showing that all the money that they shill out for all this censorship won't work because of you. Thank you again so much for watching. Subscribe. We're going to have so much more on youtube.com forward slash we are change.